Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and in this video I wanted to show you Gibraltar. Uh, this video is going to be very very short because we only spent just about two and a half hours in Gibraltar and this is a video for everyone who is planning to visit Gibraltar on a Spain road trip and would like to just, well, see Gibraltar in as little time as possible. We arrived to the parking of Gibraltar which is probably the easiest way to cross to Gibraltar because otherwise you might be queuing in the queue for about maybe two or three hours during the busy times. Um, today the queue actually seems very short but our car is a rental car and it's not allowed to enter Gibraltar for some reason so we're gonna be crossing on foot and then it's recommended to take a bus from the other side. The border control point is just around the corner. Um, it's probably like three minutes walking from the parking, maybe four minutes if you are pretty slow, but here it is. Yes, it's true. So we crossed, there was a proper passport control. <laughs> Actually, I got a stamp uh, on the exit of Spain and the documents obviously were checked um, on the Gibraltar side as well. Just after the border, you can find a bus stop and you can pay with pounds or euros. Buses operate quite frequently, uh, so we waited for a bus for about um, 7 to 10 minutes, but we were quite pessimistic and thought that the journey to the city center of Gibraltar will take a while, but it ended up being really close. So on the way back, we just walked and honestly walking was a little bit more interesting. But in order to save time, you can take a bus. And also, of course, if you are trying to explore the areas that are located slightly further away from the border control or at the entrance to Gibraltar, like we did. Um, initially, we arrived to the marina um, part of Gibraltar. It's very, very pretty, actually. There are plenty of boats. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't sunny, but there are also quite a few restaurants and some of the best rated restaurants of Gibraltar are located in this area. We decided to have a quick lunch in a place called Monix and the food was definitely not Spanish. We actually ordered a Sunday roast, probably the most British thing ever. Since we had to be in Marbella in the evening, in a couple of hours, we decided to get going and uh, not spend too much time having lunch, um, which was actually really nice. We enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely recommend Monix if you are visiting Gibraltar for a day. Um, so we decided to walk to the city center, to the main and most beautiful part of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a British overseas territory, like, just like the Falkland Islands, um, and it's not part of the Schengen area. Nonetheless, um, Spanish people um, living across the border can easily visit Gibraltar, and lots of people actually go to Gibraltar to buy some things because there is no tax in Gibraltar, especially not tax on alcohol and cigarettes, so people uh, tend to bring lots of alcohol and cigarettes uh, back into Spain. But that also means that all the tourists coming to Gibraltar can enjoy preferential prices on uh, lots of items and do shopping with some discounts and get discounts, for example, for electronics um, and even designer items. Gibraltar is also famous for its monkeys. It has a population of over 300 monkeys and it's the only place in Europe with wild, where wild monkeys live. If you are wondering how did they get there, uh, well, um, it assumes that they traveled on a lot of ships going to Gibraltar all the way from Morocco and other countries. But there is a conspiracy theory saying that there might be a cave very deep underneath the Strait of Gibraltar. And through this cave, uh, lots of people uh, kind of moved between Africa and Europe. And that's how all the monkeys also ended up in Gibraltar. Well, it's most likely not true, but nobody has checked um, that for sure. So that's more of a, a theory and more of a myth. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any monkeys. They actually live um, on the rock. The rock is basically that <laughs> rock you see, the iconic mountain in the middle of Gibraltar. So that's where they are. And sometimes they steal things from tourists. But yeah, as I said, unfortunately, we didn't see any monkeys. Or maybe fortunately, who knows? 
Gibraltar also has a few nice beaches. There are actually six beaches and some of them are artificial. Uh, one of them was built quite recently, just 10 years ago, they brought over 50,000 uh, tons of sand to build this beach. Uh, but since we were visiting in January, there was absolutely no point going to the beach because it would have been very, very cold. Also, unfortunately, most of the shops were closed as well. Um, we were in Gibraltar on Sunday and it was actually Sunday afternoon and it looks like it was, yeah, everything was closed. I'm not 100% sure if shops are closed always on Sundays or they close very early, um, but uh, we couldn't do any shopping. Um, but there were some bakeries, some restaurants, and a few fish and chips places that were open in Gibraltar um, so at least not everything was closed. This area, the square that I'm showing at the moment is probably my least favorite area of Gibraltar and unfortunately that area was the, also the closest to the border control. It just looks a little bit underwhelming. There are a lot of fast food chains and chippies, um, just doesn't look that impressive uh, but maybe it changes in summer so if you have been to Gibraltar in summer let me know if that square looks completely different uh, when it's sunny and warm outside in order to get we decided to walk to the passport control because apparently it just took 11 minutes from the end of the main walking street and in order to get to the passport control you need to cross through the airport field and right now it's green so it's possible to cross but when there are flights, obviously, you have to wait. I was, I, of, of course, I knew that Gibraltar had an airport, but I just didn't expect the runway to be right um, in the city and didn't expect to, pedestrians to walk over it and cars drive over it. Actually, when the plane is landing and, as I said, the light changes to red, all the traffic and all the people have to wait for the pl plane to land. Um, that um, runway is actually one of the main landmarks of Gibraltar. A lot of people come here just to see it because it definitely is very, very unique. Overall, it was very interesting and exciting to visit Gibraltar. Unfortunately, we weren't very lucky with the weather and we didn't see Gibraltar in its best light. I think it must have been very different in summer. Um, overall, I think we expected a little bit more from the old town of Gibraltar. I thought the buildings would be just a little bit prettier, but nonetheless, it was still very interesting and I absolutely don't regret visiting. Um, I also recommend you to visit if you are going on a road trip in Spain and you have a couple of hours to spend and you are curious about Gibraltar. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next videos. Bye!